Special spoilers for the movie. So according to a recent rumor about the third solo film, it seems that everything has happened for a reason. Fans gotta prepare for even bigger issues ahead. So the film will be borrowing heavily on the Time Runs Out storyline. So in that story, incursions began tearing the multiverse apart and multiple factions were working to try to stop it. So the third film reportedly pick up after the credit scenes of the second film, with played by Charlize Theron, taking Strange to meet the Black Priests. She takes him to their headquarters in nothing space of destroyed universes, which is an intersection of two universes destroyed by incursions. And so at this point, it's gonna be revealed that Clea is actually part of the Black Priest, and they have found the source of the threat to the multiverse is that Doctor Strange is a common denominator of all the incursions. And while he's a threat to the multiverse, the Council of Kings are also causing so many incursions that the two forces are well on their way to destroying everything. So Doctor Strange 3 hasn't officially been announced as of yet. Marvel has multiple, quote, untitled films on its schedule, and this definitely sounds like it could be one of those. A lot of fans have questioned what Phase 4 of the MCU really accomplished, and it's becoming more and more evident that it was indeed just the first step in a very long game. Loki Season 1 really kicked it into high gear with the first King variant, He Who Remains, and things to the multiverse only gotten worse from there. So Cosmic Circus, a site that revealed Doctor Strange 3 info, said that the movie will serve as a preamble to two upcoming Avengers films. If that's the case, I think I can see where this is going. So Avengers King Dynasty will see everyone finally confronting the Council of Kings and all the events that have been set in motion by them. Following this up, Avengers Secret Wars says to me that the Beyonders are on the way to the MCU, and that's really not good for anyone. So while one Beyonder actually introduced in the original Secret Wars comic in the 1980s, it's revealed since then that there are multiple Beyonders. And when teamed up, they are close to unstoppable. In this Time Runs Out storyline, they slaughtered Celestials, killed Eternity in every universe, and destroyed the Living Tribunal, one of the most powerful cosmic beings in all of Marvel Comics. And in 2015 Secret Wars series, the Beyonders wreaked so much havoc across the multiverse, multiple Earths combined together to form a new planet called Battleworld. So at this point, everything is total speculation, but it does look as though Marvel Studios is driving slowly towards a battle that could be even larger in scale than what we saw in Avengers Endgame. It could also be how all the various Marvel properties finally come together. As we saw in No Way Home, Venom came to the MCU, then went back to his own universe. Maybe a thing of the past when we get to the end of Secret Wars. With the building of rumors around Doctor Strange, it almost seems like he'll be Storyline's version of Iron Man. While Tony Stark the center of nearly everything, now it's even Strange's time to shine. By the end of the day, if you remember as a hero or a villain, still yet to be seen.